The virtuoso we all know as Alicia Keys started out as another little girl whose mom made her take piano lessons. Alicia took to them better than most. She had her first record deal at 16, a number one song and album at 20, and has 16 Grammys to her name so far. Alicia's mother was an actress who worked several jobs while living with her daughter in a New York building full of artists. Now, Keys, who shares two sons with her husband, the producer Swizz Beats, is set to open a Broadway show where she has had a hand in everything from the music to the casting, right down to the font on the marquee. Alicia and I got together in New York this week at the Schubert Theater, where Hell's Kitchen will debut on Saturday night. Nah, I really feel like I'm dreaming. Very highly likely that this is a dream. You did it. Really? You did it. This is crazy. <laughs> a dream more than a decade in the making. After a sold-out run off-Broadway, Hell's Kitchen, a musical inspired by the early life of Alicia Keys, has moved uptown. Collide, light, 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 what does it feel like to be sitting here now, just a few days from opening night of your Broadway show, Hell's Kitchen? I feel steady because I know the time that we've taken to build this. This is not a rush job. It's been years and years of development, and I feel proud of that. You know, I, I feel like you can't rush greatness. I'm feeling a buzz now. At the center of the story is Allie, a young woman growing up in the Hell's Kitchen neighborhood of Manhattan while discovering music navigating a first love and pushing teenage boundaries with her mother. So to be clear, this is not autobiographical. People might come in and say, oh, I'm watching the story of Alicia Keys life. It's not. Right. Where are the differences as you see them? Ali is kind of a little bit more gullible, mm -hmm. a little bit more naive even. A 17 year old girl who's trying to find her way, feeling quite rebellious, looking for her muse, her passion, being raised by a single mother who's quite overprotective in New York City, which you can understand why. She's really been quite protected, and so she's just starting to find her wings and her space. It's intentionally not autobiographical, and I think ultimately what it really is, and this I can relate to very much, is a love story between a mother and a daughter. How important was that relationship to this story? Telling a mother-daughter story is really, really important. There are many father-son stories. There are not many mother-daughter stories. And if you think about it, there, it's such a special relationship, such a unique relationship. And so telling that story is really dynamic. See, I learned the hard way. Keys wrote new music for the show, but rest assured, the hits find their way in. I love the way rearranged the songs that we all know and love. So how did you think about incorporating that into the story and into the dialogue? I love that you said that because um, it's very intentional and everyone had their eyes on the music. Of course, putting it together, I intentionally wanted to deconstruct the expectation of what you might get from the song. I didn't want you to come in here and just kind of think you were going to get what you thought you were going to get. You're not musically, actually. And so there's so many ways that the songs are, are arranged and composed that tell the story of what you're experiencing that even I'm like, why didn't I think to do that song in that way before? <laughs> I've performed it like hundreds of times, but I never thought to, to, for it, it, never, it never meant that to me before. Mm. And that's what I think has been thrilling as the songwriter. And how far is the building you grew up in from here? Just a couple avenues over, a couple blocks yeah. down. But a universe away. A whole universe away. The 43-year-old Keys was born Alicia Cook and raised by her single mother in Hell's Kitchen, a then gritty New York neighborhood just steps from the glittering lights of Broadway. Growing up in New York City, I walked all of these streets, mm. all of these blocks. They were unattainable to me. How could I ever imagine as a seven-year-old or a nine-year-old or a 10-year-old that this could be possible? I couldn't, mm. you know? We would stand on the TKTS line and get the 
inexpensive tickets so we could go to see different shows. And I remember seeing shows that really opened me up to so much of what Broadway is. Did your dream begin when you first sat in front of a piano at seven years old? Yeah, because I, I was able to unlock a world that I never had no idea what it was going to be able to, what doors it would be able to take me through. And I mean, that's the reason why I chose keys for my last name, because I played the keys and the piano keys, but because they opened doors. Keys graduated from her performing arts high school at 16 as class valedictorian and began to pursue a career in music. No one knew what to do with me. They didn't know how to, they were like, what is this? How do we break this? How do we get this on the radio? What do we do? So it was a, it was a journey of divine timing and people who cared to make it all come together. But you never know how it's gonna happen. In 2001, the world fell for Alicia Keys. Her debut album, Songs in A Minor, went to number one and earned her five Grammy Awards. Combining classically trained piano talent with the R&B influences on which she grew up, Keys has become one of the best-selling artists in the history of music, with anthems about her hometown. Yeah. And empowerment. This girl is on fire. Now all of that work and that dreaming have brought her back to Broadway. <laughs> with someone who lined up at the TKTS booth with her mom, it's almost like you've stepped on the other side of the mirror, and now you're in. You're you're on this stage. We're you're literally not out there, you know? on this stage. That's the tagline is "Remember where dreams begin." And I really love that because everybody can remember hmm. where their dreams began. Even if it was just yesterday, your dreams begin somewhere. And that is, that is something we have to hold on to forever. Better to be alive than just to be living. She is amazing. Hell's Kitchen is in previews and opens at the Schubert Theater on Broadway this Saturday, April 20th, and it is really good. Our big thanks to the crew at the Schubert for hosting our conversation. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full extended interview with Alicia Keys. You can find that on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.